Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn how to serve the static files. I mean to say that if you want to add a CSS file in our project, how we can uh, show the static files. Normally, the CSS files, JS files and the image files, these are all static files. So there is no need to go into the server for processing and all those things. Directly, they can serve statically. Now, if I want to add here a CSS file, so how can those Node.js process those static files? Let's try to see. Now, what I want to tell you is, here, normally the static files all will be in a particular folder. It can be www root, public, static, whatever the name it may be. So normally, generally, we'll keep the name it as a public, okay? So in this public folder, we will be placing all our static files like CSS, JS, font files, everything. So which are responsible? So you'll be placing all those files in the public. Now, if you if you click on the new folder here, I'll be clicking on new folder and I'm creating a folder CSS inside the CSS. I will try to write main.css. Okay. Now let's open homepage.cshtml file. So that is our homepage, right? So homepage.html file. Now in this homepage.html, let's try to write one style. I'm using one style. I will be taking nav. So this is our nav link. And here in this nav, I will write background color yellow or red or something like this. So I want to apply this CSS. Now if I try to open this one here, if I try to refresh it, I'm able to see that nav has applied the yellow color. Fine. As we applied here with an internal style sheet. So okay, fine. It is working. If you try to apply the inline style sheet means also it will work. But we need to apply this one through an external style sheet. That means external file should be imported here. What, what I need to do here, I need to create a main.css file. In this main.css file, I need to add this CSS here. And I need to import that one here using the link. So here I will be keeping link href is equal to it is present in public slash CSS slash main.css. Okay, like this it is present. Now if you try to observe the output here we are not able to get the yellow color for the nav and if you try to see in the network tab here the main.css we got it as in 404 not found but actually this file is present in the public css main.css but this one is not present so okay fine so let's try to remove this public and we'll try to see it okay maybe this one will work or what so if i try to refresh this page again we are getting a 404 error css main.css also we are unable to access it. So what is the problem we are, we are getting? So why this 404 not found we are getting? If you try to see, every request goes to the app.js file. So as we already know, in the app.js file, it will go to the routes. <coughs> Whether any route is matching with the css slash main.css, nothing is matching. And it will try to see app.use, users also it will try to see any routes is matching or not. Nothing will match. Then it will execute this one. So for any route other than these matching routes, we need to execute the 404 page. So that is the reason we, it is executing the 404 page. So because of this reason, it is, execu it is executing this 404 not found error. So because of that reason, it is executing. If you try to see here, so we are getting, that is the reason we are getting 404. For example, if in order to not to get the 404 error, what we can do here in between this one, we can write in a such a way that app.get Whenever user encounters about the CSS slash main.css, so execute this request and response. So execute this callback method. And here I can send response.send. Response.send. Just HTML. Oh, hi. This is matching. Just I am trying to tell you. So now, instead of getting 404 error, it will try to check whether any routing is matching in this home routes and the admin routes. And here it is matching and it will like try to send the value, uh, data HTML file instead of CSS. Hi, this is matching. Now, if you try to see the output, let's, let's see what will happen. Okay. Did we save it? Okay. CSS slash main.css. Okay. Okay. So it should be something like slash CSS. Okay. If it is matching with a slash CSS. Now, if you try to execute this one. Yeah, here we got now 200 matching. If you try to see, hi, this is matching, we are able to get it. Now for writing, we will be having so many CSS files and so many JS files. So like this, we cannot write each one routing like that. So it could be a tedious job for us. 
now for example let's say that when we, when we want to send a file css file so you can send something like response dot send file here i can use path dot join and i can use here dar name and it is present in the public and also i need to send in the css and i need to send main dot css <clears throat> now if you try to see the output now we are able to apply the yellow color why because this main dot css is sending that that file and in the headers also the content type is text slash css so the response dot send able to identify the type of file using the type of file it can be able to find the uh, uh, identify the content type and it will apply the suitable content type to that one when we when it is trying to send the response there is no need to send us for as res, res, response dot set headers like that there is no need for us to send it now the problem also we have found it so what is the problem is whenever we are having multiple css files means we cannot write we cannot go on writing this routing thing so in express js we have a method to control the static files we know that that all the static files are present in the public folder why can't we allow this public folder first to check in that public whether any routing whether any file matching is there in that one if that file matching is there means so you can send that raw file file directly to that response if it is if not there means so you can execute the routing thing like that we can do it so for that one what we can do is here i can use before any response before any middlewares i can use app dot use okay here also you can at the top only you can write it app dot use express dot static so for static files so you need to mention <coughs> you need to mention path dot join of underscore underscore dir dir name okay we have applied three things yeah underscore dir name and where it is present in the public folder that's it so now it is now we are trying to do we are trying to apply a middleware here so before any incoming request comes it will check that whether it is present in the public folder or not so in the public so whether path is present or not so with the, if you mention here public means then there is no need for us to mention here the public why because it will check for the css main dot css is present in the public or not yes it is present css main dot css now it will try to apply it will try to send that raw file directly if it doesn't match anything means then it will go down doing the request body parser and all those things it will try to do now i have saved this file and let's try to execute this one so if i try to execute now we are able to get the same output so there is no problem so here we got the main dot css directly so this is how we will be doing the we will be doing the static file for static file parsing so serving the static files we will be using that app dot use express dot static and the public folder if you are if you are having more than another another folder also you want to make it static means you can add another static and you can keep www root whatever the folder you want to make it static you can use it so that's not a problem you can have multiple static files also so this is how we'll be doing and another one before closing this session what i want to tell you is if you try to see in the app dot js or in the routes dot js here we are using dot dot slash right so this slash will create some issues in if you operate this node js project in different operating systems so what is the slash why why the slash operates uh, creates a problem is for example let's say that in linux we will be using something like this okay like this we will be using a forward slash in windows we will be using like this so this creates a problem now here we are using slash right so this creates a problem so what can we do is here instead of using this one we can create a new folder okay services like that i am creating it as an utils and here i can create a new file path.js so you can have the same name or you can have with the root directory or anything like that so here i will be exporting constant path is equal to require of path and here i can export module.exports is equal to path.dir name so this is the directory name it will try to get the directory name and here i can use require dot main dot file name so what is the main file name here the main file name is nothing but app dot js so it will try to get this app dot js file this one require dot main dot file name and it will try to find out the directory for that app dot js where in the in which directory this app dot js is present in which directory is present it is present in the node express app so this one will return the node express app now i can go to the home page dot html sorry in the home dot js routes and here i can import constant root directory so i can have the name root directory is equal to require of so it is present in the utils slash path 
and this root directory i can take here i can remove this all the things and i can place it here so that we cannot have any issue now in the same scenario i can copy this one and i can go to the admin.js and here i can use it and this root directory instead of using this one i can use it like this okay i can use it for this one also like this so wherever you are trying to use it you can use it now here in the app.js also you can have constant root directory is equal to require of utils utils slash path so this is our root directory and you can take this one so here we are using it right we can use it here that's it so if you want you can also use it here also not a problem so wherever you want to use it you can use it like this so now here if i try to use it also it will work so now we have our root directory and if you try to execute so everything goes well and if you try to execute this one so now everything also works well so if i like to click on the home users so it is working okay users if i try to work it is working uh, users slash add it will be working so in all the pages i didn't added this css file right in the home page only we have added the link file now if i try to submit this one it is also submitting without any problem we are able to get the output so this is how we can add a root directory without using the dot dot slash which creates a conflicts in different operating system and also how to serve the static files also we have used it using the express dot static so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you